Hello everybody, it's Bones177, and this is Morrowind Episode 2. We're leaving, uh, we're starting right where we left off. I'm about to do this quest to find Fargoth's gold, which I'm not going to give to that guy. Because, you know, all the extra gold you can get in the beginning is better. So, we'll go ahead and grab all this stuff too. Because I know that I can get away with taking this. I'll take the lantern. And what we're going to do is we'll go out here. Oh, what's the button to sleep? I'm going to do this periodically when I need to remember something. Um, caps lock is to always run. Okay. Um... We want rest, and that's T. T is to rest. Then we're going to rest for about 10 hours. They'll leave us, you know, chilling up here. I think I'm in sneak mode right now. Not quite sure. Yeah, it looks like I'm in sneak. There's Fargoth taking his gold to hide it. It's pretty funny when you uh, sit up here with a bow and you shoot at him. He doesn't like it very much. And I know I skipped getting one of those. I'll get one for free when I go to, uh, I think it's called Saran. There's a nice little pawn shop that you can rob blind and the girl doesn't go after you at all, so. Go on, Fargoth, go plant your gold. In case you couldn't tell, he goes over there and puts it in the log. And we're gonna jump right... oh shit. That's the wrong button. It's e. e is to jump. We're gonna jump right down here. That'll get us down without losing too much health. And there he is, planting it of course. Why don't we go over here and grab his gold and his lockpick. We, yeah, we just yank all of it out of there. Now, uh, we need to go to Balmora to start the next quest. So, without further ado, we will go and visit my favorite part of Morrowind, the Silt Striders. I love the Silt Striders. I'm going to turn my brightness up just a little bit, just in case, because I'm not sure how this is going to come off in the video. Go ahead and visit Sills Trader a minute. Oops, I want a caps lock. Yeah, hell with it. I will travel to Balmora for 29 gold. I mean, throughout the course of this LP, we're going to do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, like, you know, becoming a vampire, and becoming a werewolf, and all that good junk that you normally don't want to do. And I really get sick of listening to this water. I'm glad that I don't I have to listen to it for too long. Alright, the guy's house that we're going to should be right up here and around the corner. Yeah, there it is, right there. We get to do some fun stuff for the Thieves Guild and all that stuff. You get to meet Lord Vivic. Talk to this guy. Report. Yes. 
Yes. Okay, so... I want some orders. Let's do some orders. Thing is to... Get a weapon, armor, spell, second thing, need to cover identity around here. Fearless adventure is a common profession. So. Alright, so I need to do some freelance work. And so, you know, I will probably go with the Mages Guild because I actually like their their quests are pretty easy. And I've, I've, I don't think I've ever finished all of the side quests. I think the most I've done is I've, I know I've finished the Thieves Guild. And, uh... Actually, I think that's all. <laughs> I think the Thieves Guild is all that I've actually completely finished. I might have finished the Mages Guild once, I'm not sure. The Thieves Guild is fairly easy, though you just steal stuff. So we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna find the guy... Actually, I think it's this chick right here. Yes, we want to join the Mages Guild. We don't really care about what the Mages Oath is. We're gonna go down and talk to the dude that gives us quest. See, that's like... The main storyline of this, it like runs you through some things already, you know. Like the, the storyline will, um, it'll make you go through and actually do some of the stuff, the side quests and whatnot. And let's see, we need to find Luminous Priscilla. Uh, Okay, I need to go with that. Then we need to find Bungler's Bane. I hate this first quest, we might actually go with something else. <laughs> I like, this, this quest just makes me mad. Um... Actually, I might do this one off camera, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. But, uh, one thing is for sure, we're gonna do them all. So let's go ahead and run out here. God, I want, I wanna... I want to cheat so bad because I hate doing the, this quest, but at the same time I don't want to cheat. So I guess we're going to go outside and listen to the water. I think there's actually a, it's either a mod or there's actually a, one of the guilds after you get done doing all the quests in it, you get to build a house out here. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think, yeah, I think you actually do get to build, you get to like build a house. They'll build it for you. It takes a few days in game. And, uh, after that, oh, great. Why is my weapon not coming out? Why is my weapon not coming out? Uh, what was the button to pull my weapon out? I forget. And that's my alarm for this episode. So I am going to go ahead and look at my controls. Try to memorize that button so I don't have to keep looking. It's F. And, uh, we'll kill these. And 
I will see you guys in the next episode. I am going to go off camera for a little while and uh, search for these mushrooms. Once I find them, I will start the next episode. Um, the thing about the mushrooms is they come up in random locations, so um, it doesn't matter if I do it off camera or on camera. On camera is just going to waste more time and make me look like a moron because I'm out looking for something that has no general spawn area. So I will see you guys after I find some mushrooms.